Hello my fellow accused newcomers and passerbys and welcome back to some more scum and I have been gone for a little bit I'm kind of late on this update um there's already been a hotfix but don't worry there really wasn't much in the hotfix um that was like super super crazy but I will put the link down below for both this update and the hotfix just in case you guys want to check it out on your guys's um own um and there's a puppet right there so I'm gonna go ahead and take that guy out all right cool just so I didn't have to deal with him you know later on um anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the update real quick so this is patch 0.6.6 .6. oh yeah we are at 6.6 so that means what four more patches with a couple hot fixes in between each patch and then boom 7.0 or 0 0.7.0 but you know what i mean maybe i don't know that's just a guess anyways so I'm gonna show you guys something. Um, I actually went over this leak and you guys seen this leak in one of my videos. I'm gonna go ahead and get in this vehicle. But if you look to the right side of the screen here, you'll see a vehicle with F1, F2, F3, F4. And that's because you can actually change seats now. So if I press F2, I'll change the passenger seat. And if I press F3 or F4, I'll go to the back seat. Now, I didn't think they were gonna allow you to go to the back seat from the front seats at all. Um, but one thing that is for sure is that they do not have an animation for it whatsoever which is uh pretty interesting um now you can also get out of the vehicle and you can also go into the backpack as you can see here and then there's also f6 and f5 um so you definitely can't like crawl to the back window at all but that's still pretty cool as it is now i want to show you something else real quick so as you can see uh along the z3 riverbank there's this giant town and that town is called i think raw no rogoznica 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 it's something like that i really don't know but um we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna walk into it and there is something really cool about this town i'm not gonna show you the entire town but i'm gonna show you a, a few key features in this town that i think are personally really cool and they're really just right here as i walk into the town um itself rogue see right there rogan's nika rogan's nika whatever first off so you have your you have puppets you have your puppets um but you have your broken broken uh construction vehicles right here which i think are really really cool and really really decent uh these are the things that i was showing you in the leak uh and they said oh you know it would be cool if these things were drivable yeah that's just what these were uh, obviously, they are not drivable right now. You can only search them, and that's about as far as it goes. But another thing I want to show you is this kit. Oh, one minute. Another thing I want to sh Oh, my goodness. There's so many puppets around here. Another thing I want to show you is this camper right here. This camper is really, really cool. You can actually go inside of it, and you usually find them with the door closed. Um, it has a little bed and all kinds of things. Some military puppets over here. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Apparently, he can... Hit me through that, but as you can see, he did not damage me at all. And the reason why he did not damage me is because of a little... I'm a little thirsty, but, you know, whatever. That's not him damaging me. Um, something really cool about the, the uh, no damage thing is the map. As you can see, there's a square part on the map. And I'm going to show you guys what that actually is. So if I go down to my settings and I go to admin settings, I can actually change um, the settings without changing the server. Or without... without um, uh, without restarting the server i can create safe zones and stuff like that so that's pretty darn cool i could do it without restarting the server and i can add them and everything else so first off let's talk about the region so if you want to add a region um these are your regions right here this is the current region new city my region that i personally created i'm invincible in this region i made it so i'm invincible in this region and i'm gonna show you guys how this works so if i want to add a circle or add a rectangle i'll press add circle or rectangle and then i'll span it out to about as big as i want it boom now I have custom region one. That's my new custom region right here. I can name it right here and I can call it poo poo pee pee. And I can also change it to a square or, or I'm sorry, a rectangle if I really wanted to, um, or a circle or a rectangle or a circle or a rectangle. Um, and then right here, this is your configure your configure configurations. So right now I have my custom configuration, which is invincible. And then I have safe zone. Um, this is invincible. This is safe zone. And I'll show you how to configure how to make your own personal configuration. Um, right now, because really you can't do anything else on here. It just shows you 
um, what is allowed and what's not allowed. So if I wanted a new custom configuration for this specific region, I could sit there and press add configuration. And it's going to be called zone one. If I want to call it different zone, we'll call it uh, the poo zone, right? And then we'll do a different color. Let's have it blue, right? Um, and then it'll say fall damage, puppet damage, sentry damage, animal damage, vehicle damage, brawling damage, melee weapon damage, throwing damage, projectile damage, explosive damage, trap damage, damage to bases, uh, damage to vehicles, picking player locks, picking world locks, and building bases. So you have all that stuff, and you'll have three options, ignore, allow, or block, right? So obviously if you allow it, then you allow it to happen. Um, if you block it, then you block it from happening, right? Um, but the ignore, what, what's the ignore? Well, if I were to sit here and I were to put another region over this one, because you can add another one, and I can go like this, boom. I just then added another region over that region. So now those two regions actually overlap, right? So what, what ended up happening is I can press ignore. So if I have different uh, rules for this region, for this green region, other than this red region, then basically it ignores the green region and has its own set of rules. So it keeps its own set of rules. So, or you could just leave it on and ignore and it goes to default. It's just default stuff. So let's go ahead and go back to the poo poo pee pee zone, right? And then I'm gonna change its configurations to the poo zone configurations. And boom, as you can see, now it changed color. Now it has the configurations of the poo zone. Um, or yeah, it's not, it's not, so there's like two separate things. So for each region, you need to put a specific configuration so you can make a configuration that works for multiple regions. Um, so say if I wanted like eight, eight regions that are all invincible, boom, 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 right? I just sit here and go invincible region, invincible region, invincible region invincible region and then obviously the names of the region when you name the regions if you're in those regions the name will pop up when you're in those regions that's that's a given um so some other things that actually did happen uh if you want to save these or i didn't save any changes so i'm going to press uh go ahead and do that you're supposed to press apply when you when you exit but i'm sure you guys saw that um so i'm gonna go ahead and run off here because there's a few things i actually do want to talk about so another cool thing that actually did happen is if I sit here and I commit suicide, so let's go ahead and do that. And then I sector spawn, but I sector spawn in the snow area. This is really cool. I spawn with a hoodie. Yeah, that's right. Hoodie, gloves, and uh, a hat. So that way I'm warm within this area. Now you can also find carcasses in this area as well. However, um, I, I haven't found, they're really hard to find. I, I just personally haven't found one and I just got home from work and I really don't want to go looking for one. So there's also one more other thing that I actually learned from uh, from another YouTuber's video. Um, if you guys want to go watch them, it's Ray Kit. You just type it in the YouTube thing, go, you know, Ray Kit. Watch the video, but I'm going to show you guys here as well. So basically, all you do, we're going to spawn in some some donkeys we're gonna spawn at about i don't know a lot of them okay lots of donkeys right lots of donkeys and then we're gonna spawn in some puppets oh yeah so we have the puppets but we're also gonna run past the donkeys because the donkeys should oh Yep, there we go. You see that? The puppets are chasing the donkeys. I'm going to run past this. Boom. Right there. Look at that. Zombies are actually attacking the donkey. How surprising is that? So, I think... I wonder... My question is if I spawn in some wolves. How? how what's that going to do? So, this is going to be very uh, interesting. So, I'm going to spawn about seven of these suckers. Boom, 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 boom. Then we're going to go back. And then we're going to spawn in... A bunch of these suckers. Oh snap! Oh snap! Things are not looking good already. Okay, so it looks like the wolves are. Oh yeah, they're attacking the puppets. And they're also attacking me, which kind of sucks, but whatever, you guys got to see it. Look at that. 
like they were fighting. I mean, the wolves are kind of attached to me, but they're fighting each other. That's what they were doing. So we also have some admin commands here. So admin admins can now set fake names to others, uh, just with animations for controlling boats to make it possible to shoot while operating them. Um, the kill box panic button will now only be active when the kill box door closes. Adjust the time when the kill box door starts to close. Admin drones can now see door upgrades informations. Um, they can also spawn on and command can now also set the dirtiness level on items, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so spawn items can now work in four different ways. Either you can use a long sting for locations that you can acquire by pressing control and C while using quotation marks. Same goes for locations that is acquired by doing hashtag location in the player name. Uh, you can also use a steam ID for certain players to spawn items next to them. So basically meaning you can spawn items long range to people. Um, so you don't have to spawn to the person. You could just spawn items in front of them if you wish to, but you'd have to have their, their either their location or their player ID. Um, I, I would recommend if you're an admin to go and read the actual uh, the uh, Steam update page um, that I'm going to put down below. So that way you guys can see the actual uh, example of that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over some quality life additions. So adjust the nutritional information for pine cones. You can now drink ice isopropyl isopropyl alcohol if you want sorry some some of the words are just hard to pronounce um improvements to serviceability added new variations of dirt bikes uh it is now possible to drive motorcycles and hold a gun in the hand chopping animal meat will now result in meat with the same durability like the item that was chopped crafting arrows and bolts will now properly give xp to survival skill washing clothes and well on wells now use two liters of water for full wash added cause added cause bleeding injury um characteristic to more melee weapons uh fixed quiver visibility when prisoner is in the vehicle added a winter clothing item for prisoners that start in the cold areas on the island and added further translation to the game so we also have some bug fixes as well as well that we'll go over fix the bug that causes server crashes fix the bug where locked chests were unable to move fix the bug where it was possible to extend the zoom on scopes more than it should should be uh, fix the bug where increasing or decreasing weapon scope display brightness would turn the flashlight on and off um, fix the bug where puppets would sometimes bug out. Fix the bug where puppets would not drop attached items when looted. Fix the bug where relogging would make your body disappear. Fix the audio bug on eating meat skewers. Fix grips on opened variations of dog and cat food. Fix the bug where in some cases non-alphabetic characters would not show up properly. Um, fix the bug where player would sometimes not be able to cancel the load action. Fix the bug where puppets struck with, with thrown weapons would go blind that sounds freaking hilarious um fix the bug that causes fps drops when looting other players fix the bug where explosions would not deal damage to blueprint art base building elements and single player fix the bug where it was possible to overload bolt action rifles fix the grips on drumsticks meat uh we have not added drums so don't even ask fix the bug where the bow would bug out when added to full inventory. Fix the bug where you could not max out a skill when the attribute related is on the border value. Fix the bug where it was sometimes possible to feel vehicles in water. Fix the bug where you could indefinitely decrease intensity of lanterns. Fix the bug regarding shelter and bed spawns. And fix the bug where sometimes caused binoculars to be useless after leaving combat mode. Fix the bug related to quick access. So I really do hope you guys do enjoy your day. Um, that's kind of all I have for today. It's a really cool update. And uh, yeah, I'm out.